hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm showing how to configure gmail in outlook using manual imap configuration so there are situations where you want to configure your email account manually on a, on the outlook so we're gonna teach how to do this one so first of all log into your gmail account from the browser to enable the imap and pop so once you log in you can click on the settings option and you should go to the uh, email settings basically it's coming under the settings let me check it in the settings option click on see all settings it's loading i think okay so once you click on all settings you will receive a window like this so click on the forwarding pop slash imap which is on the third from the right and enable pop for all email and enable imap for all email so we are giving the permission and make sure it's auto expansion on this is the best thing if you want to sync it uh, immediately to the server and that should be the best option because otherwise you will have to manually update the server and you can uh, limit the number of emails in your imap folder but right now i am not limiting anything i need everything to be available on my imap account so that's fine just click on save changes so we have done with the web client web email and uh, now we will open the outlook i have a outlook 2016 installed the pros will be same in outlook 2013 and 19 as well because i know i have tested it in both we have uh, a lot of computers with 2019 and 2013 so click on next and in this window we will choose uh, yes, because we want to set up Outlook to connect to an email account. Click on next. So in this step, we can directly give that one. But here we are doing it manually. So click on manual setup or additional server type. Click on next. And click on the second win second uh, option, pop or IMAP. So we're going to choose pop or IMAP and um, next again. So you should give your name, which will be displayed for the people who will be receiving your email. So I'm going to give the full name or the display name that you want to send to the people and provide the email address. And choose IMAP from the account type and incoming mail server will be IMAP dot gmail dot com outgoing mail server is smtp dot gmail dot com username is already taken from the email address so you just need to give the password of the email account and make sure you check require logon using spa and click on more settings and make sure my outgoing smtp is authentication and SSL for incoming so automatically the port will be changed to 993 and SMTP will be TLS and port number we're gonna choose 587 this custom SMT settings for Google account click on OK now we need to test the account settings so for that we click next so it will open a window so it's asking for a password there is something wrong something is blocking uh, because I'm sure that the password is correct uh, we'll try again anyway so it's pop up the password again so just need to log into the email again and see uh, we have received uh, an email from Google that sign in attempt was blocked because we didn't enable less secure app that was a problem so what we can do just uh, go to the account and click on security and 
choose a less secure apps section and click on on because Google considering Outlook as less secure I don't know why anyway we just enable that one now we should be able to log in let's um, click on next so it's accepting now log on is successful test email has been sent so we have successfully configured the gmail account with imap and click on finish the outlook will be opened automatically the profile will be created automatically now you can see that it will sync all the emails from cloud to outlook so great we have uh, shown how to how to configure the email address gmail address specifically using imap configuration so i believe this video was helpful guys thank you for watching subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification take care goodbye